Well, yeah, it's a gateway drug. Uh, yeah, you're right, and I've heard that argument too. I think this. I think there's some validity to the argument from a growth development de uh, of, a, of, a, of a literally speaking growth societally um, environment, not environment, societally developing um, psychological viewpoint, I think there's some validity that if um, at the age of 16, whatever, um, you're uptight. You didn't become a cheerleader, you didn't make a football team, you didn't get the date you wanted for the prom, um, or you want to be part of the gang. Uh, and so, I mean, that, and you find that gives you comfort and helps you get over that disappointment in life and so on. I, I, I think there's some validity to the argument that may you not then turn to something stronger later on when you have more serious problems. Now you got married, you got three kids, you just lost your job, or you found out your spouse is cheating on you, or uh, you hate the boss, or uh, you know, whatever, okay? I mean, now, you know, now it's not the date for the prom or, uh, or making the football team. Now, you know, maybe we're a serious problem in life. Well, you know, so, well, drug did it yesterday. Maybe a drug. I think, you know, some of it, I think it's far, far exaggerated. But from a physiological uh, standpoint, there's no validity. There's no validity. And the proof of that is not what I say. The proof of that is, and, and really, I'm not, I'm not you know, throwing it back to you guys in a personal way, but to you and part of your generation. You know from the huge numbers of people smoking. I mean, how many of them, you know, went on to become, uh, I mean, what more proof do you need for Christ's sake? What more got to, if, it, if they're gonna leave, can you, I mean, what, what is it? A fraction of 1%, that's the fraction I'm talking about. The people that just need something in life. Whatever the hell it is, they need something in life. So this is a complicated answer because I don't think that anything is as black and white as that. Do I believe that people that engage in illicit drug use are more likely to be okay with using something else? Yes. Do I believe that, um, maybe it isn't so complicated. I mean, it's just not just about marijuana, but that because of our I don't know, availability and because of our perception about that, because people look at that, that that's not quite so bad. If, if you ask most people, what's worse? A marijuana joint or this um, needle of heroin? People are like, oh my God, the heroin is way worse, way worse, way worse, okay? So, but if I've now become part of a cart culture, I've, I've been introduced by this over here, now I'm desensitized to that, that it might be a little bit easier to move over in this direction. Does that make sense? Do I believe that every person that smokes marijuana is going to be en end up a, a crack addict or a heroin addict? No. Are there a lot of people who end up using much harder substances that started with marijuana mm -hmm. and, to be honest, alcohol? Yes. There's, there's overwhelming support for that. So I can't say every person that smokes marijuana, I would never say that to kids. If you, if, if you try marijuana, it means that you're gonna end up a heroin addict because that's not a true statement. But is there a disproportionate number of people who are addicted to heroin that have also used marijuana at some point in their path to where they are? Yes. So it, uh, we can't say that it's causation, more correlation than anything else. So you have to, you can't say, well, it, it's, the answer is yes and no. I mean, really, we, I, I feel like that's probably the most appropriate way to say that. You can't say every single person that that's where they're gonna end up. But if you look at all the people who are over here, mm, that's, that was involved at some point. So how did that contribute to where they ended up? And again, that's not just marijuana, that's alcohol too and many times tobacco. <laughs> Those are the big three, I guess. Those are like the big three to me. And two of them are legal and we have these huge problems with those. So like, sure, why wouldn't we think it'd be a brilliant idea to throw in the third two? Like, that, that um, addressing the problem of, of drug abuse, l let's just make it a little bit harder. <laughs> I mean, really, it doesn't make any sense to me. I would bet that less than 1% of people who have smoked marijuana in the last, uh, 
in 20, 30 years in the United States of America, I bet you that less than 1% have become drug addicts.